name's Ruth. And I'm Steve. <laughs> and we're gonna be talking about the circular saw today. So we're gonna be exploring the circular saw without the battery, no accidents here. <laughs> so let's just get familiar with the tool so we know what we're working with. All right. So the circular saw, kind of intimidating when you first look at it. There's a sharp blade and it just it sounds scary. It sounds powerful. I know you were pretty scared I was, about it. I was definitely scared of it for a when long time. When I first started, I was also kind of like nervous. I would hold it just right. I had everything on and I didn't want to cut a finger off, but it's actually a really easy tool to use. It's very versatile. And we're just gonna walk around all the pieces that we have here. For safety, the first thing that we talk about here is gonna be this little piece. Uh, every circular saw that you find is gonna have this, right? So we're gonna go over all the universal pieces that you're gonna find across all of them. So you have this blade guard, right? The blade guard stays beneath the blade so that way it doesn't actually hit any wood. Like if this was down and you hit that, you can more that up, you can cut yourself. This moves out of the way automatically as you start to cut. We have the foot, as this is called here. This whole piece here is called the foot, and it has a couple different pieces to it. Along the front edge here, there's a notch that actually tells you where the blade is going down so that you can kind of stay straight on any line you draw. It also has a ruler built in that kind of shows you how far off you will be. It goes one, two, three inches, and then over here it's one inch. So if you know you're trying to make a one inch, two inch, three inch off cut, you're gonna use these lines over here. We also have a more advanced part here, the bevel setting. So with this, you actually loosen your set screw and it can actually change the direction or the angle of the saw. So it actually tilts. So it'll tilt. So if you want to make like a small miter cut, you can use this. It goes from zero all the way up to 50 degrees, the most common one being 45. And then we also have back here, we have the adjustment. So you always want to make sure that your blade isn't cutting more than it has to. And that's what this piece is for. Uh, this one has a lever. Some of them, it's a lot smaller of a lever. This one, you just pull it up, it's loose. And now the foot moves. And you can see that they can just go into a deeper uh, and deeper piece of wood. So if you have a like a one by three, that'll be not quite an inch deep or not quite an inch thick. So you'll set this to probably about an inch and it'll go through the wood no problem. As far as just handling it, there's this one has a handle here to just kind of control the tool. And then you have the safety so that the trigger isn't pulled accidentally in case you do have the battery in. Not all the safeties are the same. So I think that's a really key part if you're looking for a circular saw to go to the store and actually handle one because we've had a couple different ones and by far this is my favorite because the safety is a lot easier to press, especially when you're doing a lot of cuts. You're doing a lot of cross cuts, a, lot, a long cut and you're trying to hold it. Uh, some safeties, you just press once and once you engage the trigger, you can let go of the safety, it's already started. Some of them you have to hold um, and some of them just have a weird angle. It's more of a lever. This one's more of a button press, it's a lot easier. Um, so make sure you play around with them to see which one fits your hand, which one's the most ergonomic for you so that you know, you're comfortable using it. So it's just going into the store, picking them up and actually feeling what they feel like in your hands because everyone's going to be different. So let's talk about what kind of cuts we can make with a circular saw. This is the first saw that we bought and this was the only saw we had for probably years. So we did a lot of DIY projects with only a circular saw. Now the circular saw is not going to be as straight of a cut unless you have a guide or something like that. With this one, you can freehand, so it might not be as straight of a cut. So it just depends on how you're using it and what you need it for. And to that point, there's actually a lot of cool little tools you can get to help you make a straight cut. Um, one part of the foot, which gets overlooked quite a bit, um, is gonna be along the side here, and it's actually kind of almost invisible as you're looking at it along the front here. There's a little hole here, and if you look, there's another little hole on the other side, 
and then what looks to be a hole for a screw. And what that's for is, is actually for a guide to help you with a fence there. So it is always sold separately unless you find something fancy. But basically, if you imagine a stick that goes in there with a hook on the other end, so that way you can place it on the edge a certain distance, screw it down, and then as you're going, as straight as your edge is, that's as straight as your cut's gonna be. You can also get a straight edge fence that you can buy. You can get them at the store. So a lot of different tools can go into this, but with practice, you can make a lot of straight cuts. And speaking of cuts, it doesn't just cut wood. What else does it cut? I'll tell you, <laughs> Bob. <laughs> well, personally, we've cut a lot of things. Yeah, we've cut into brick. brick. Yeah, we've obviously cut into wood. We've cut, we haven't cut into metal, but you can. And a key selling point about these is that it really depends on the blade. The blade can be swapped out, usually with the built-in little tool that they give you. It's just like a little Allen key. Goes in here, take out the arbor, put a different blade on, and you're ready to go. If you're using your circular saw, um, you're getting really comfortable with it, and then you notice all your cuts kind of ugly. They're frayed, splinters everywhere, uh, it's not cutting as fast. It's probably time to change your blade or choose an appropriate blade. Right. If you're cutting a lot of lumber, rough lumber, uh, thick pieces, that blade's gonna get worn really quickly. There's blades specifically for fast cutting, like demo. There's blades for fine cutting, for fine furniture, which we've used right. to build the desk that we made in the office. Right. We really wanted a fine cut, so we had we got a blade with a lot more teeth to we get got, a finer cut. Right, we got one with 40 teeth and it made the world of difference. It was the most perfect cut and all because of the blade. Yeah, but what is versatile and for everyday use is the circular saw. And we did use it almost every day when we were doing a lot of our DIYs, like the garden beds we were making. We didn't have a table saw, we didn't have a miter saw, we didn't have any, this was it. This is it. This and a hand saw that was rusting somewhere in the corner that I will not use. I'm not, I don't have the stamina for that. Should throw that away. <laughs> Probably should. Uh, some little hacksaw or something like that. If you want to step up from a hacksaw, and I definitely recommend it, if you, all you have is a little hand saw and you're out there just working out your shoulder, working out your arm, good on you. If you want to give it a break, get yourself a circular saw. <laughs> if you're wondering whether you should get it corded or uncorded, that is 100% preference. I would never buy a circular saw corded, personally. But maybe it's just because I'm spoiled because we've always had battery powered, but. I have always had battery powered and I kind of think a corded one would be pretty good. Well, there you go. Yeah, see, personal, <laughs> personal preference. The only reason why is because I get tired sometimes. Uh, we used to have just two batteries and the circular saw is uses a lot of power. Those batteries go really quickly, especially if your blade is dull and the battery's older and you have a lot to cut. <laughs> Which we were working with all three. Which we were doing all three because we didn't know better. Just get more batteries. You'll be fine. Batteries are expensive. Just get more batteries. It's fine. That's personal preference. <laughs> and that's the circular saw. Thanks for joining us. We hope you learned a little something about the circular saw. Drop in the comments below what tool we should do next. Thanks for being here. Make sure you're subscribed below as well, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.